quick. Hello, this is Elizabeth Claire Brewington, and I am your host with Elton Brewington for Brightside Global Trade TV. And we have an inbox magazine that we've just started. Um, it is a process that we have to help you empower your business and jobs because we believe that when people start earning their own income, it is an opportunity to empower our beautiful planet and make it more sustainable. Um, how do we do that? It's very simple. We have four ways to do that. We do um, introductions, we do networking, we do connections, we do information sharing, and if this is something that's new for you, I'll be happy to uh, set up a time and explain it to you. Without further ado, I have Elton, and he's gonna start us off with a prayer. And uh, this is a group that did start off with prayer, so we will continue in that. And um, no matter um, who, who you want to, uh, whatever your faith is, we welcome everyone of all walks, all faith, and um, everybody is welcome in this group. So over to you, Ed. Greetings, greetings. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. You look so bright and promising. You, uh, you know, it's almost amazing. Uh, bright as a new penny. <laughs> Shiny and all orange, I love it. Well, how are you? It's so happy to see you. Um, as Claire, my host and, and partner has said, we're delighted to have you with us today. There, this uh, event today promises to be quite amazing, and it's even going to be more amazing because you've joined us. And now we've got a pretty good idea about uh, you know what we are doing, but of course your invitation and your presence will make a, an incredible difference, uh, uh, you know, and and added value. So this is an open forum. Uh, we have people that are presenting, and I only ask that you give them uh, the credence to listen and carefully observe what they're saying. Uh, and today is a, a remarkable day. It's the first day of the week. Ha, ha, ha. First work day. <laughs> so we're glad that you've joined us. As, as Claire was saying, I, I'd like to open up with a, a simple prayer that helps us to invite and invoke uh, the spirit and the presence of our risen king to join us. Let us pray. Divine, eternal, we thank you, dear Lord, for every household, every person, and every spirit that's joined us here. We thank you, kind Father, for your presence and their presence. And we ask that you find the benevolence and the wonderful uh, presence to, to unite us in a forum that's warm, inviting, and generous in an incredible way, as only you can do. Bring all people to a point of understanding and a point of unified uh, initiative and direction. We thank you for that. And we thank you for each person who is here, who owns a business, and they're trying to grow their business and prosper it. And we expect and ask that you would bring us in with the power and the energy and the forcefulness that will give us motivation and enthusiasm to, to make us uh, an incredible uh, uh, process in all that we do. Thank you. Bless you. Give your name the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All so right. Woo! Woo! I get excited about Monday. I'm so excited. I can't just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. <laughs> so we, that's apart from the point of sister song. That looks so great. And so we got a pretty good um uh, uh, identif identification of people and they come from different places and we're excited about you and them and us being here on this Monday almost coming to the end of August how about that yep. the end of August starting in two days you'll only you'll have three months left in this year uh, September so uh, I encourage you I ask that we can find something to get excited about and, mm -hmm. and something that will motivate us. Uh, we've got a lot going on and I need your come come back in. Awesome, awesome. So, so with without said, further ado, um, let me just go over what, what's happened because we've got a lot of new people. Here. So sit up, look your best, make sure your camera works well. 
if we disappear or the internet gets unstable, which happens, do not panic. Just log back on and we will be right there with you. Uh, we have several backups, uh, so do not get all flustered if the sound goes off or something gets unstable. We are living in a virtual world and sometimes it works great and sometimes it doesn't. Um, we are recording, so be prepared to, to uh, share your business. Uh, so we will begin with an introduction. Everybody gets a few minutes to just introduce their business. Then we'll bring our keynote speaker, Colonel Donna Four, who will do a presentation. And after that, each of you will get five to seven minutes to pitch your business. What does a pitch mean? A pitch means that you are trying to get anyone who's here plus all the online audience on Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, et cetera. Uh, so you wanna pitch them. So make sure that you either have your website or what is it that you would like people to do? Uh, would, they, would, they, would you like them to call you? Would, they, would you just like them to spend money with you? Whatever it is, prepare your pitch so that you can introduce your business and yourself. So since we have some newcomers to this group today, we're so excited. Uh, so I'll let um, Ali Wellness introduce themselves and then we'll go around and then we'll bring the keynote. So go ahead, Ali, introduce yourself. Hi everyone, my name is Elise and I run Ally Wellness. I'm a physical therapist and I help people manage chronic pain, get fit and age well. Welcome. Well said. Well Thanks. said. I like that. <laughs> and Gary Chan has been here before and a lot of people have asked for your services, Gary. So please tell us. Hey Gary, doing. how are you? Good to Hi, see hello, you. Hello, hello. <laughs> Good to see you. Hi, I'm Gary Chan business resources consultant. I am dubbed the business owner's best pal. Why? Because I help them recover money. Thank you. All right. That's awesome. All That's right. big. That is big. <laughs> that is big. Uh, so we have two queens. They are the uh, queens of Goldsboro, the city that we live in. And uh, they're community leaders. Everybody knows them. They give 100%, they don't give 95 or they don't charge a penny, but they just give their time into community services. They're just coming out of doing a big fundraiser at their church for back to school. And so they're gonna tell us about all the excitement that's been going on with them. So Nancy and uh, Mrs. Wooten, welcome, welcome, welcome. Tell us all about your program. Can help you and your organization communicate better at www. Okay. Somebody's got their somebody got their calling post going on. Okay. That was us. We have a that was a calling post coming in, but we decided to listen to you first, then we'll get the calling post. Uh, okay. okay. We are very happy to be here this evening. And of course, we are so very pleased that we have the Bloomington working to improve those, those for us in Wayne County, especially. Of course, we know they have reached out all over the world, but they make us feel that we are an, an important part of the world. And what we have learned from many of you. Uh, during the times we have been working together, it has helped us to help others. And that's what we're all about because we serve God by serving people. That's awesome. Well said. Well said. Well said. Thank you so much. And we get inspired by you. So, the governess and great servant yes. director, the empress. Thank you so much. <laughs> Madam, he's still finding the right <laughs> words. Okay, so yeah. over to you, Kim. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I see you're new to our group, so welcome. Thank you. I'll unmute myself. Um, yeah, my name is Kim Jakes, and I'm a midlife health and lifestyle coach and founder of the Mindful Metabolism Reset for Women program. And 
Um, you know, I, 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 I help amazing, powerful women who step into midlife at a crossroads in their health and in their, in their designing of their life. And I help them find uh, the way to optimizing their health so that they can bring their no. best. They can bring Someone their best. Their mute. Everybody mute. And when you speak, you unmute. Okay. So they can bring their best selves to their family and to their community in meaningful ways um, and, and being able to do that with ease. That's awesome. Donna, I'm going to skip you, but I'll bring you back. Okay, Sergeant Gray, I'm glad you're here today because I want to introduce to you to Brenda, who will be introducing her nonprofit organization. And perhaps there is a synergy that the two of you can work together to help our youth in the military. So go ahead and introduce yourself, and then I will set up a meeting with the two of you. Hello, as she said, I'm First Sergeant Lim Gray, and I'm retired military. I did 20 years in the Army, and now I'm uh, teaching GRTC for the last 11 years. And uh, recently, I I've just been inspired you know, over the last year, year and a half, to really uh, start a scholarship program, which, you know, Brenda, we, we will talk uh, to really uh, give to not necessarily the universities, but I really want to focus it and tailor it to trade schools because a lot of our youth, uh, yes, they're told, hey, university is where it's at, go to college, go to college. But for a lot of them, trade school, community college is where it's at first, and then you can make that, that leap. So that's really where I want to bridge the gap and uh, where my efforts are. Uh, additionally, uh, we partner with uh, the Brewingtons. I have a lot of uh, cadets that are uh, very intelligent, takes the initiative, and uh, we want to be in the works with partnering with other organizations just to expose these youth to different businesses, uh, different environments, uh, so that they can be successful in their future careers. Okay. And uh, both of you, um, Sergeant Gray and Brenda, McDonald's is offering a program that I think both of you qualify for. Uh, so I'll be sharing that at the end, um, as well as how we can all uh, get in involved with that project as well. So that's more funding coming your way. Uh, so Colonel Kurt, I'm trying to recruit him to be one of my mentors for my 30 day challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, and welcome back home. You've been away traveling. I have, I have. Thank you for the communications. I really appreciate that. But um, for everybody's edification, I'm uh, retired. Um, actually, that's my good buddy over there, First Sergeant Lim Gray. Um, we were battle buddies for a while, and I'm, I'm glad to see him. If you got him on board, you've got a good, a good uh, worker. But um, I just wanted to say I'm a retired military guy and um, really looking at um, community outreach, uh, specifically with youth. And so what I notice in working with the same program that First Sergeant Gray is, is that the youth, as we know, are critical to the success of, of communities, of this great nation that we're in and uh, at large. And so my focus is mentorship, mostly youth, and um, really trying to, to help youth define themselves and define themselves through experiences. You know, I, I met a lot of kids that um, were not aware of the community or other walks of life outside the street that they lived on or the, the block that they lived on. And that was kind of discerning to me. Uh, so I, I really want to, to get involved with organizations or partner with organizations that uh, try to give uh, youth experiences. And I think experiences are uh, long lasting. And, and, and I, just, I just think that they're a gateway to success. You know, I think all of us can can remember when the aha moment came to us, you know, when the light bulb came on. And so that's my goal is, is to try to work with youth um, and, and to try to give them through experiences and mentorship a pathway to success. 
Very good. Very good. Thank and you. that is so needed. Mm-hmm. So, so needed, uh, especially after COVID and the pandemic and the inflation right now. Gas prices are so high. Uh, it is really bothering uh, our youth. And, uh, you know, it's just so hard. Um, so I, I, I praise you for what you're doing. And talking about youth, there is a nonprofit organization that's raising money for scholarships. Uh, so tell us about your before, plans. Before uh, she comes on, I had an amazing conversation with this young lady today, and uh, it was quite fascinating. She is it's got an incredible and important job finding money for kids and youth to go to college, and she's busy. She's busy, and she looks in every little nook and cranny trying to find money for kids to go to college, and I tell you, I mean, you know, if she can make, if she's making the turn on this thing, and we've partnered in a couple of ways to help that happen. I'm excited, and you know, I, and so I was telling her today that today was supposed to be the launch of the Artemis rocket around the moon, and so you know, and uh, fortunately or unfortunately, they decided to scratch it today and maybe shoot for Monday or Friday. But she's amazing, and you know, you think about going to college and what kind of opportunities they can have post-college and, and what that could mean for kids on the road, on the streets, and, and that have the mental acumen. I'm glad she's doing what she's doing. You know, tell us, tell us, tell us, uh, uh, Dr. Hudson, tell us. Uh, mute, unmute. You have to unmute. Thank you, Elizabeth and Elton, for the invite again. I just feel at home with all of you. Uh, it's It's been quite a journey, but a family journey uh, with uh, the Brewingtons. I'm Dr. Brenda Boston Hudson. I'm out of Florida, Jacksonville, that is. So Cape Canaveral is right up the street. Uh, they will certainly uh, have that rocket up and running in a couple of days, we hope. However, my mom, who was Dr. Marie Barney Boston, uh, was the founder of this foundation. It's named after her, Dr. Marie Barney Boston Scholarship Foundation. Uh, She founded it year 2016. Uh, I lived in New York for many years. When mom and dad uh, became ill, I came back to Jacksonville, which is home, to take care of both of them. Uh, At that particular time, of course, um, they were still uh, a little independent, just needed me to take them back and forth to the doctor. But I needed mom to work on her legacy. And that was. Uh, being an educator and an advocate for education over the years um, to tell us what she wanted us to do in those last years. Mom came up with the foundation. She created it. She started it. She ran it for a couple of years, and she passed away, both of them in 2019. I picked the baton up, and I am continuing the legacy of my mom. Uh, Mom was an advocate in this community. She had an impact on every child that was in our yard every day. And she insisted upon education, whether it be college, whether it be vocational, and that's how she set up this foundation. We cater to the population of high school seniors. We have a vocational piece in there where we have partnered with Google. And we also provide scholarships to current college students. Not only do we give them a check to help with tuition, food, and room and board, but they sign a contract with us. That mentoring piece is very important that we track them, that we keep up with them, that we help them solve problems and get a resolution. 
So that's what we all are all about. I'd love to partner with you all. We seem to be the same thing. Can you imagine how explosive this can become when we all get together? I'm looking yes. forward to working with all of you. And um, we're also introducing our 30-day challenge. And one of the things as a business owner is what can you give back to the community? So I think that the challenge will be how can we help our youth? And at the end of the session, you know, get involved with your foundations, with your programs, uh, volunteer time. So I'll be contacting you all on, on how to incorporate that into the program as well. Okay, so thank you for your service. And we have another veteran from the U.S. Armed Forces, Sergeant Reginald uh, Lavely. Please introduce yourself and your business. And thank you for your service. All right, good evening, Elizabeth and Elton, and all the beautiful people here who chose to assemble this evening. I'm Reginald Lyerly, and I'm chiming in from Durham, North Carolina. And uh, I work in the areas of business capital, business lines of credit, CBD, and uh, final expense coverage. I uh, work in a number of businesses, but uh, because I believe businesses have ways of being able to solve problems and serve the community. So I'm grateful and humbled to be amongst you and to be able to share this with you. And I look forward to more service. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so you, much. Thank you, uh -huh. um, and then we have Kia. Can we see you, Kia? Okay, we'll bring her back at the end. Okay, anyone else that wants to present? Oh, Brenda, Tupperware. Yes, welcome, Brenda. Please tell us about Tupperware. Hi, how is everybody doing? doing We're doing great. great. Oh, thank you. Good. Um, tell you a little bit about Tupperware. It's 76 years old this year. It's been around a long time and Tupperware has really come a long way. Um, we're not just bowls anymore like we used to be in the 70s. <laughs> we now carry glass. Ooh, um, nice. <laughs> so um, you may want to take a look at my website. I posted it um, in the comments section. Uh, Tupperware does a lot. It offers a lot. It has a lifetime warranty if you didn't know. So if you have anything, uh, any pieces of your Tupperware at home that are cracked, chipped, broke, or warped, you can get a new piece of Tupperware. Oh, very uh, good. Wow. That's pretty good. A guarantee. Awesome. Guarantee. It is awesome. Um, Elizabeth, you mentioned about uh, meal prepping. Yes. Tupperware has a lot of products that you can use to meal prep. Uh, these are, I don't know if you can see them. They're coming, they're coming in kind of cloudy on my end, but uh, these are our lunch sets, uh, small and large. Uh, the large price is 21, and then you get two small ones for 21. Oh, that's not a bad price at all. Twenty one. Yeah, yeah. It's not. The reason, and like I the said, reason you'll yeah. not have to buy them again. <laughs> not yep. like you know, unlike Life the rubber, done. unlike the Life. Rubbermaid and uh, Gladware. Yeah. Yep. So we also have um, then and serve that you could use to meal prep in. You can put your leftovers in them. You can also put them in the freezer. Oh wow, that's so, amazing. Yeah, it just depends on what you want to do. Meal prep, uh, store your leftovers, or put them in the freezer. And they're yep. microwavable safe. So, yeah, like I said, you can take a look at my website, or you can give me a call, and I can <laughs> send you a catalog. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. You know, meal prep has become essential now uh, for people who are trying to lose weight or stay healthy or keep healthy food around and uh you know my my mother was a was a pro with meal prep as because she was working and she had no time to right. cook so she would prepare everything on the weekend and uh, you know we were very independent we could just go and just put everything in the microwave and we had food like in, in minutes um 
So meal prep is really, really key to success yes, and is. time efficiency. So get in touch with Brenda and buy some Tupperware. <laughs> Lifetime guarantee. You know, um, we bought saltines uh, yesterday and the box said if you replaced it, they would double the guarantee. So I'm like, okay, people are really getting into this guarantee business. So, good, yeah. good. So Kia, I'm going to move to you now. Um, tell us about real estate and also your empowering uh, Facebook group. Oh, wow, the Facebook group. Okay, then. Hi, everyone. My name is Kia, and I am the resident realtor on the panel today. And uh, I'm on a mission right now to take my rental clients that I've been working with to make them homeowners because in this day and age, we don't have the same restrictions that we previously had in regards to lending. So if you know anyone that would like the opportunity to speak with me, and mind you, I'm, I'm with the XP, so we're in all 50 states in about 20 countries and counting right now, uh, refer mm -hmm. to me and I can definitely put them with some people that'll be able to help them uh, because we have a lot of renters. I mean, here in the state of North Carolina, you have a lot of people that want 650 credit scores to buy to get a rental. You could buy a house with, with, with a 650 credit score. So I don't need to rent if, if my credit is going to be looked at at the same level that you will be looking at for someone who is looking to buy. So uh, that's the first thing that I will say uh, about what I'm doing. Uh, secondly, uh, Elizabeth, I heard you earlier referring to community. You know I'm always out doing something in the community. I was just out yesterday at a book bag um, giveaway, and I have to go to uh, one, the school that uh, my Realtors Association here has sponsored a beautification project. So I have to go take pictures of what it looks like finished. But um, I'm definitely an advocate of working within your community. I work with my local community group here, and we are tackling some of those affordable housing issues in the city and county of uh, Durham, North Carolina. That is another passion project for me. And thirdly, since you mentioned it. I mean, my group, my Facebook group is called Abundance Positivity, and you, thank you, Donna, for adding new people. Reg, you need to take some of that content off your page and post it in a group. I would appreciate it, sir. Help us sister out. Thank you uh, in advance. Um, but basically, I took the Abundance Challenge that is from Deepak Chopra, and I began taking that challenge a little over a year ago. And I myself go through the challenge usually every three months. We actually have a session that should be coming up soon. Hopefully our fearless leader, meditation leader, will be back. Um, but, yes, uh, I started the group uh, on day five. It's an activity for you to do that. And the first two times I participated in the Abundance Challenge, I did not begin a group. I said, don't nobody want to hear me or me <laughs> babbling or what I have to say. But clearly I was wrong. <laughs> Elizabeth mentioned it, and Donna keeps on people. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I guess someone mm -hmm. does want to hear me babbling, but it's just an opportunity for me to inspire people around me, whether you're a business owner and that's how we've met, or whether we're friends on Facebook and that's how we've met, or I know you IRL in the real life. Um, it's just an opportunity because uh, if COVID has not taught us anything, uh, it, it definitely has taught us that people leave here soon, uh, sooner than we think, because COVID came for the old and the young. Uh, so I just want to do my part to inspire, uplift, educate, and motivate people to do some good things out here in the world. And that's my spiel. Uh, Elizabeth Elton, thank you for inviting me on. I'm going to sneak out in a few because today is my wedding anniversary and I'm sitting here with you. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Everybody can take a hand and wish you yeah, uh, uh, happy you. anniversary. Happy anniversary. It, happy it anniversary. Bitter, happy it, it anniversary. Bitter, sweet time. Any, any birthdays <laughs> in the group? Okay. Now, one of the things, because I just thought, thought about this groups, uh, we are reorganizing all our Facebook groups and our LinkedIn groups uh, because we've grown so much now that we want to put everybody in segments of interest. 
So I will send you a questionnaire. But all of you are not in any of my groups. Uh, so I will be adding all of you to the groups. Uh, so I just wanted to let you know. And some of you have registered for the 30-day challenge. And Brenda, we need to talk to you about how to get Tupperware involved with this challenge mm -hmm. that we're working on. I want to um, say this before we get started on our presentation. You know, something Nakia just said, you, you all need to know that you're all incredibly talented. You're all quite special and also very capable. You know, you go through your day and you're like, what am I doing? You know, can I really succeed at this? You know, and, and, and you know, you ask, I can't let you ask that question without answering it right now. You're all very capable. You're all very talented. You're all, you all have all that you need. And just because you got up this morning and you took a step forward to your ambitions and expectations, you're especially esteemed and especially capable. And I just want to make sure that I put emphasis on that for you today. You can do all, you can be all, you can maximize what God has endeavored you to be. And don't even question that for one second. You just keep pedaling. Just keep pedaling. You're on a bike and you just can't stop now. Got too far to go. <laughs> keep right. on pedaling. Can't stop now. I don't come too far. Can't stop now. There's miles before I rest. You need to know that. And you're, you have all that you need. And you just keep on pedaling. Just keep on pedaling. Don't look back. Just keep on pedaling. So, let so that be I'm said. Uh, going to stop recording. You're watching brightsideglobaltrade.org. We have some amazing veterans today. And if you'd like to uh, make a comment on any of the introductions, please do that on the comment section and uh, we are giving away a lot of great stuff uh, for those of you who just simply write a comment. So just write us a comment and we'll get back in touch with you. Thank you for watching and I will be recording each of you individually from this point on. Uh, so please bear with us starting and stopping the recording. So thank you.